Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to install Mikopa BX on VirtualBox. Firstly, you should download VirtualBox app and uh, download uh, uh, Mikopa BX image. Uh, you can do that from their official website without any troubles. Okay, let's get started. We will start from creating a virtual machine. For that, you should open VirtualBox and click New. Here, in the first field, you can type the name of your virtual machine. I will use Micorp PBX2 as example. Uh, here, in folder field, you can choose the path where, where your system disk will be created. After that, in type field, in the type field, you should choose Linux, and in version field, you should choose uh, Debian 11 Bulls I 64 bit version. Okay, after that, you can press next. Uh, on this page, uh, you can choose configuration for your virtual machine. I will use the recommended amount, it is uh, one gigabyte of based memory uh, and uh, two processors okay go next here you should choose uh, capacity of uh, your uh, system disk recommended amount is uh, one gigabyte um, and because of that I will use this amount of uh, memory Okay, go next, and here you can see your summary configuration of system. Press finish, and as you can see, our virtual machine was successfully created. After that, just uh, press settings, uh, go to storage section, here click on controller SATA, and uh, on this button. Uh, in this menu, you should uh, press create. Uh, here, just next, next. And uh, on this page, you can choose uh, where your second disk for recordings will be created. Uh, and uh, you can also choose the size of this disk. Uh, recommended amount uh, in real system is about 50 gigabytes. But, uh, for example, I will use just uh, four. After that, you can click Finish. And, uh, as you can see, now our disk located there. Uh, we should connect it to our virtual machine by double-click. As you can see, it was successful. After that, you should press on this disk, which is empty, and just choose uh, the disk image of Mikopa BX. Uh, then go to network section and uh, change attached to NAT to attached to bridged adapter. After that you can press OK. And uh, our virtual machine is ready to start. Let's do that by clicking this button. As we can see, our system launched successfully, but uh, it is launched in uh, recovery mode. It is because we didn't install it yet. So let's do that, clicking by arrows on, in, on your keyboard uh, to the section install and press enter. Uh, here, system will suggest you to choose a disk uh, for itself. Uh, for me, it is suggested uh, SDB. I agree with that and we can just press enter. Uh, after that, our system shows to us an attention. Uh, I agree with installation and I just write Y and enter. Uh, after that, system will um, suggest us um, to choose uh, a risk for recordings. Uh, because our system is just uh, to disk one, uh, it suggests me disk SDC and I agree with that and just press enter.
As we can see, our system is successfully rebooted and uh, now we are ready to join uh, the web interface of Mikopa BX. Uh, for that, you can see the IP address of your Mikopa BX. Uh, okay, just open the browser and here uh, in this field, you should just uh, write your IP address for me. It is 192.1. Uh, Six eight dot seven seven dot thirty five. Uh, here we can see interface of web version of Mikopa BX. Uh, here you should write uh, default uh, username and default password. It is admin for username and uh, the same admin for the password. And after that, you can click after rise. Uh, and uh, system will say to you that you should set a new password. Let's do that. Uh, and for now, our system is fully ready to use. Okay, and uh, now I will show you how to connect uh, extensions to the soft phones. Uh, let's start from the stuff with internal number 202. I'll connect it to Zoiper. Okay, for that you should copy internal number, write it here. After that, you should put the symbol and uh, just copy your IP address. Put it here. And uh, in the password field, you should go to extensions settings. And here you can find password for SIP. Just copy that and uh, put it here and after that you can press login next skip skip and uh, as you can see in the hyper interface that it shows that we connected successfully you can check it here by this indicator okay uh, let's connect the, the second worker to phone light uh, i will connect worker with internal number 203. Okay, open phone light. Uh, here in configuration set, uh, section, press new. Uh, and in this field, you should uh, write your IP address. For me, it's 192.168.7735. Uh, press the arrow here in the username field just uh, write the internal number of your extension uh, in the notification name field the same and in the password field we should do like we did before just open the settings of the stuff and here copy the password uh, yeah uh, as you can see uh, our worker was successfully registered uh, and we can see that by this indicator okay in the end let's check how we copy BX for the internal dial plan application which named echo test uh, let's data its number in foil light as example uh, one zero 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 Three two four six one, one two, two three, three test. test. As you can hear, everything works perfectly. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.